New at five, police name a suspect in a bizarre shooting that unfolded on an Arkansas interstate. Who can forget that video? And they say he's wanted in two roadway shootings. Crittenden County deputies say David Allen Jackson is the man caught on camera leaning out of his window and shooting at a big rig along I-55. That shooting happened July 2nd, and the driver's truck was shot up, but he was not hit. A similar shooting in May left another truck riddled with bullet holes, and that driver was shot several times. Deputies say Jackson has been living in the West Memphis area and is known to frequent Memphis. He was last seen in a silver Dodge Journey. Anyone with information is asked to contact deputies or Crittenden County Crime Stoppers. And now to another crime alert. A traffic stop leads to the arrest of another man previously charged in another interstate shooting and now wanted in an airport area gun battle. We have new details surrounding the new crime and his arrest first at five. Thanks for joining us. I'm Greg Hurst. Hi, I'm Stephanie Skurlock. Memphis police tell us Marcus Greer was involved in a robbery and shootout that left two men dead last November. WRG Shay Arthur is live at 201 Poplar tonight with the other charges he's facing. So Shay, fill us in. What do you know? Hey, Greg, hey, Stephanie. Yeah, we did some digging and discovered he's recently been charged in another interstate shooting. Tonight, 21 year old Marcus Greer sits in jail. Officers say he played a role in a shootout, leaving four men wounded, two of them dead. Police arrested him here off Kirby Parkway yesterday after a traffic stop. But the case goes back some eight months. We were there in November as investigators searched for clues shortly after this scary shootout at an airport area complex off Winchester. The window of one of the units broken out as two men jumped from a second floor. Neighbors told us they heard up to 30 gunshots. You know what I'm saying? I looked through my sister's window like this, though, just trying to see like where the bullets were coming from because we all on the ground. I say there's so many shots, though. Police say Greer admitted to being at the complex during the shooting and driving two men from the scene. We did some digging into Greer's background. It turns out officers arrested him a month before this shooting. They charged him with aggravated assault after they say he admitted to shooting at two men on I-240. In that case, he says he shot at them because he was being chased. We stopped by an address listed for Greer. A neighbor who didn't want to be identified told us he's frequently in the area visiting a relative. I've seen him. I'm really shocked. And Stephanie Gregg, so far, no bond has been set in this case. We'll, of course, keep you posted. We're live downtown tonight. Shay Arthur, WREG News Channel 3. All right. Thank you, Shay. Meanwhile, a DeSoto County man is facing charges in connection to.